Hello students, today we'll learn how to change active of imperative sentences into passive. Imperative sentences are very much important from the perspective that they can be changed into passive with the help of three formulas. Three ways are there. So let's see one by one what are those ways. Number one, by using let number two by using should and number three by using you are plus so these are the three ways and we can apply any one of them to change imperative sentences into passive voice so first let's see the structure of active voice in imperative sentence and the structure becomes verb plus object. We know imperative sentences always begin with the verb and then they have object after them. There is no subject at all. By the way subject is there but it is over, uh, covert means it is implied only. It is only understood not mentioned and subject in Imperative sentences is always you. So, this is the structure of active voice. Now, if we change this structure into passive voice with the help of let, then the structure becomes let plus subject because object in active voice will become a subject in passive voice and Subject is followed by B, B is followed by third form of the verb and then we have to finish the sentence. The reason being we can't use preposition Y in this case because we do not have any subject over here. So this will be our structure for passive voice. Now let's take one sentence for the example and let's see how to change that one. Clause your books. If this is the sentence, so first, as I told you, like imperative sentences always begin with first form of the verb. So clause is the verb over here, and your books, clause what? Your books. So this is an object. So this is the structure we got in active voice when we change this one into passive voice. So let's apply this formula using let so passive voice will begin with let let followed by subject so object in active voice will become our subject in the case of passive voice so let's bring it forward and it will be let your books subject is there we have used let subject next is be so use the verb be and then third form of the verb so what is verb over here close and if we change it into third form, it becomes closed. So, this is our passive voice. Active is close your books and passive becomes let your books be closed. So, this was formula number one. If we move to number two, it is by using should. So, first we will check and see the sentence structure with this one active voice as we know uh, i needn't repeat by the way active voice because it is already written over there it will remain the same only so we'll move to passive voice of using should in this case we'll start the sentence with subject subject is followed by should should is followed by be and at last we put a third form of the verb and the passive of this sentence will become with the help of should close your books will become like subject is there so object becomes our subject and it will be your books and then as per the structure we'll be using should then be 
so should be a third form of the verb and verb is clause so it becomes closed and this is our passive voice so your books should be closed now third way is by using you are actually this plus stands for the verbs which we have to use and those verbs are the indicators of the mood of the speaker in imperative sentence we use imperative sentences uh, for request for suggestion for advice for warning for order and for command so these are especially you know that uh, moods which we are uh, using imperative sentences for to make a request to give suggestion or advice to give warning to give order or to give command this way so we have to read the mood of the sentence if you find that the sentence is used to make a request so you are requested this symbol plus must be replaced by one of the words representing these categories if it is request then you are requested if it is suggestion you are suggested if it is advice then you are advised if this is for warning then you are warned if this is order then you are ordered and if this is command then you are commanded so these many words uh, six are there so at the place of this plus symbol we have to use any one of these verbs so what is this close your books suppose a teacher is asking his or her students in the classroom to close the books so what can it be you can take it as an advice or it can be a mild order from the side of teacher because teacher and student they are working together in the classroom so we don't we hardly take it uh, you know that uh, uh, order it is uh, strong advice for the students so if we change it into passive voice so the structure will become passive voice structure with the help of you are becomes you you are and in this case we will use plus you are plus third form of the verb and then we use to plus active voice whatever it is there in active voice sentence the same we have to copy paste so we'll start with you are then third form of the verb and what is the verb after reading that, we don't have to change the verb which is given in the active voice be careful students in this case we don't have to use the verb given in active voice rather we have to read the mood of the sentence and then we have to use one of these verbs given over here in the box so suppose this is a suggestion or advice from the side of teacher to the students so how to change you are third form of the verb will be advised if it is ordered really then it will be ordered then we will use preposition to uh, to infinitive case we will be using over here and it will be followed by our active voice close your books as it is will write it over here so our sentence becomes you are and let me take the word advice over here when we change advice into word form it becomes s e or z e in the end you are advised to to do what to close your books to close your books and full stop so this is how we can change the sentences now we saw there are three different ways to change imperative into passive voice and it's quite easy also so now we'll be moving to next an important point sometimes especially in imperative sentences in the beginning i told that 
three things are required for any active voice to be changed into passive voice and those things were subject, verb and object. In imperative sentences we saw that subject is missing or it is understood, it is implied, never mentioned which is always you but we do not mention when we speak or we write it. So we have only verb and object. Some of the imperatives you will find they are just a verb. They are either just a verb or verb followed by adverb. Only verb or adverb. Now how to change? If you find such type of a sentence you can't use let you can't make it using should also only one sentence uh, this uh, rule is there for us only one is left with us that is you are yes we can change such type of the sentences by using the third formula these two won't work on such type of the sentences let's see one or two examples of this type Many times students feel very difficult when they come across such type of the sentences and they generally commit mistakes in that area. Suppose our sentence is active voice sentence is get lost. This is the sentence. Now we know get is verb and lost is what? Get what? So we don't get any answer over here. It means object is missing. Get lost. Lost is adverb over here. So verb and adverb. No subject, no object at all. How to change? You can't use let. The reason being the structure of let needs subject after it, which is missing over here. Should also. Should is followed by, uh, you know that uh, should follow subject in this case. So subject is missing. So these two formulas won't work in this case and we can use the third one and it becomes you are get lost the language itself is so harsh and we can easily sense it's an order or it can be a strict order or command you are ordered to get lost this is how we can change this sentence in this case. So these are three different ways students you can use to convert imperative sentences into passive voice and one more thing. The sense of all the three passive voices won't be the same. This is especially I am telling for the competitive exam perspective. In competitive exams, uh, in case you are given uh, the sentence like respect your national flag and if you just change it with the help of let the national flag be respected it is considered to be incorrect the reason being all the moral obligations any sentence which conveys the message of moral obligation and morality we have to use second formula always go with the second formula especially i'm talking about the competitive exams in the rest of the cases we can apply any one of them in our personal life routine communications or in our academics uh, we hardly focus on uh, this much final differences but yes in competitive exams we need to focus on otherwise we'll, we are penalized with the negative marks also sometimes so that's all for today thank you